Hello everyone. Another interesting case that I'd like to share with you. This patient is, I believe, 14 or 15 years of age, so uh, pretty young. And from this uh, CBCT scan that was submitted from outside clinician, we see that there are incidental uh, findings of multiple calcification within the soft tissue of the left neck. So let me go ahead and scroll the axial planes. You can see that there are quite a few calcification uh, that are located just behind the ramus. That's what we're seeing. And even at the level that's below the angle of the mandible. So here we go. And let's see if there's one more. There you go, right? So, um, Trying to identify this location relative to cervical spine, that I, I see that it's at, a, at the junction of C3 and C4. And the most superior extent of this calcification is right about here, right? It ends right about there. And that's uh, near the, uh, just above the angle of the left mandible. So let's go ahead and take a look at its overall uh, appearance. Um, it has this very irregular cauliflower-like appearance along its periphery. Um, and uh, looking at this calcification in three dimensions, um, three-dimensionally, to me, it looks almost like a shape of an uh, elongated I don't know the technical term, like oval, oval shape or elliptical shape, right? So this is sagittal view and this is uh, the coronal view. Um, and then, however, for the other ones that we see, those are much smaller calcifications. And uh, I typically just describe these as an amorphous opacity um, or irregular opacifications. But typically I use the term amorphous opacity. So now let's find out how these look on panoramic radiograph. Okay, so here's the reconstructed panoramic radiograph from CBCT scan. And perhaps many of you would have a much easier time identifying what these opacities would be uh, based on uh, traditional you know, panoramic images that many of these calcifications were taught um, for us to diagnose, right? So it sure made uh, me easier or made my initial differential diagnosis uh, a lot easier to confirm based on this panoramic radiograph. Once again, we see this um, irregular or amorphous opacities kind of along the uh, cervical chain of the neck and um, and we see the largest one just posterior to the angle of the mandible, uh, and yet we see several more opacities extending downwards. Uh, I, uh, one of the downside sides of combing CT is obviously not having the soft tissue contrast um, or soft tissue spatial resolution. Um, but uh, yeah, let's leave it at the soft tissue contrast. But based on its overall shape and, and location that we identified previously from multiplanar reconstruction view, and also what we see on this reconstructed panoramic radiograph, these features are very much uh, consistent with calcification of um, uh, lymph nodes. So these are lymph nodes calcifications. And based on uh, White and Farrow's oral radiology textbook, these calcifications are associated with either tuberculosis or sarcoidosis, cat scratch disease, rheumatoid arthritis and systemic sclerosis, lymphoma treated with radiation therapy and fungal infection and malignancy. So um, I do not know much of this patient's history, but um, this lymph node calcification alone doesn't require further uh, treatment. However, I think it is important to at least ask the patient and find out what the underlying cause of uh, these calcifications are. 
Anyway, um, that's it for me. Uh, very interesting case that I'm uh, happy that I was able to share with you. And again, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe and uh, tune in for the next video. Thank you very much and take care.